Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64 with my feet. Um, this time we actually have some special guests that aren't my regular commentators. Say hi, V Prisoner and Cecil Tron. Hey, what's up? Hi there everyone, this is Cecil Tron. Come to comment on your <laughs> feetish videos! <laughs> oh god, you're actually gonna do it. Awesome. Uh, well, and now we've got Mario waffle. jumping over like, like on, on, on the stone under the arch. He's running like crazy. This guy, he'll <laughs> never stop going. Please subscribe to my videos. Okay, bye. Actually, I should just let you do this solo. It's all right. It's all right. I, I don't think I can keep that up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what a shame. Well, it's it, it's it's my shame too. Half my family talks that way. <laughs> I should get them in a video then. No, no, please. <laughs> Too much. Oh wow, just so check out this. Is, uh, is that a ball bomb of some kind, or is it some... What is that? It's a big... A big black ball with horns on it. I see. And nice shoes, too. Jesus, that was fast. Yep. Yep. This, video, this level actually is pretty easy for being, like, in the basement. It's pretty easy, as signified by the high amounts of damage you're taking. Oh, of course. Now, uh, you mentioned... Uh, the way I see it, if I don't die, then it's all good. Yeah, I mean, uh, health is more of a place mark. It's just, you know, something to let you know how well you're doing, but you're not dead yet, so it's fine. Exactly. But I, I find, though, you know, we got in here through the basement. They say it's a lava land, but we have no clue as to whether it's above or beneath ground. I mm. mean, if it's if it's underground, that's that's magma. Well, above see, I think, I think that it would be below ground, not just because of the fact that it's in the basement, but because the skybox is so small. Good point. That's a good point. So then I guess it's lethal magma, magma land? Yeah. Lethal flaming things land. It's just uh, lethal magma land doesn't quite roll off the tongue so well, so they just use lethal lava land. Because, like, how's anybody going to know the difference whenever they're mm. 11? Well, I, I don't think I learned to speak until I was, you know, well into my 20s, so, I mean... Much less thing. You didn't know the difference. Actually, there are two. There are two different to names. There are two different names for lava. There is Pahoy Hoy and there is Ah Ah. Ah Ah is the rocky type of lava that whenever you touch it, you say Ah Ah, and that's how it got its name. I'm the White Dragon. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> I knew you'd come up with something like that. But uh, it is worth <laughs> noting that there's a deep symbolism to lethal lava land here, and it's just that 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 fire and molten stone like this really are the great equalizer. All things rendered to the fire, ending in time when exposed to this death. It is the eternal death. You know, since this is since this is the only way to kill these guys, it really it fits perfectly. I mean, even Mario, for as semi invincible as he is, could die to the lava, and for a game that really doesn't really let you see much death. When he does die, you know that the fire consumes all, leaving nothing behind. Indeed. I like how they make you do the same start twice. Just yes. For no reason at all. Except this time you actually have to fight the little guys, too. That changes everything. Ah, uh, yeah, it's completely different. I really feel like I achieved something completely new with that star. By bullying the bullies. Well, you know, it's a it, it's a it's a political commentary. Instead of fighting the oppressor directly, this time you have to fight your way through his lackeys, through the middlemen, uh, and lead the proletarian Mario to defeat the middle class bourgeois lackeys and the uh, bully, the rich man, enemy here. Okay, then what do you say about collecting red coins, which we're I think about to do? Unless I'm losing track of the video. Well, the red coins are an obvious, you know, mention of uh, communism, since communism is red. And what we have, you know, collecting red coins is simply, you know, uh, getting medals for service to the people. Oh, of course. So, is there a reason why I'm here, or what? <laughs> I, I, I was just kind of enamored by Cecil Thron's dissertation on, uh, Oh wait, everything. <laughs> I try my best. Well, you're here to call out various helpers for things. Um, also, I don't think you pointed this out, but if you let the if you let the uh, puzzle just shuffle itself back into its original form, it will uh like coins will come out, like three coins. Yes. I think. Yes. It does it does kind of spew out coins if you let the puzzle solve itself? Yeah. I was going to say shit, but it wouldn't be very classy. <laughs> Ah, this is this is not a classy establishment. I wouldn't worry about that too much. <laughs> I brought and I brought my Canaan hat. What a shame. 
Not brought my walking cane and my my strolling hat. Fancy hat. That's right. Fetch my coat, Smithers. It's time to make a post. <laughs> I'm not very good at this jumping thing or this Mario. Oh no, yeah, I can tell. You know, I think uh, if you're really gonna go all out on a post, you might as well just preface it with, as someone who used to watch an ass ton of anime and post on anime forums, <laughs> comma I, and then just finish your post, you know, and say whatever you wanted. And I'm certain people will care about what you it say. It really gives credence <laughs> to pretty much anything you could claim. Exactly. And in fact, as soon as we're done this, I will use this tried and tested style and show you how, you know, the, the new method of posting can bring you fans, respect, and internet cred. As someone who believes that the word lolly is an actual verb instead of- oh wait, sorry, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Careful I use that word, boy, we don't take kindly to them pedos in these parts. <laughs> Oh look, there's a foot joke. Oh, I should probably point boy. that out. Oh, hot foot into the volcano. Oh, That's a pretty yeah. good one, though. Actually, I don't think we're getting that star first. We're gonna we're gonna do the coin star. Ah, uh, yeah, that's why you wanted to get everything else just so you can activate the shell. Yes. This this shell is pretty cool because it makes it possible to get a lot of these coins. I wouldn't say and possible so much as well. It's just easy. Yeah, I guess you could long jump to all these little platforms here. I'm not even talking about that. I actually would have, uh, you would have gotten a lot more cool points from me if you used the wing cap to get all those coins underneath the bridge. <laughs> ah, that's a good point. Yeah. It is. Maybe this bonus video material. Well, I mean, you're, you're already playing with a handicap, so I wouldn't, like, put it past you not to do it. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, are you saying I can? Please, he's not handicapped, he's differently able. <laughs> this is a handy capable LP, sir. Exactly. Here we're just making use of the different abilities that we've been granted. Exactly. But it is worth noting that uh, Hot Foot is actually the name of a series of laws in many jurisdictions, places, and counties in which you are not allowed to drive a car barefoot. Oh, really? Yep. So you're shit out of luck, brother. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. You don't lose your shell whenever you're bumping those guys around. I didn't know that. No, the shell actually makes it easier to beat them when there's like when they're not just bouncing into you from one side. Oh, uh, yeah. It's because uh, the shell keeps moving forward constantly, and yeah, that means exactly. it reduces the traction. Yeah, I get it. And touching that, like, in touching that wall counts as punching them, so it's like even more. Yeah, that's... There's gonna be some facts about the game in this video, I swear. <laughs> so, how do star coins work? I forget. I'm... It's, you get 100 coins in the level and the star just materializes. It is, in fact, possible to get 100 coins without ever going into the volcano. It's just hard. I believe so, yes. I've done Possibly. it. Possibly. Um, it basically means you have to exploit every single... Every, yeah, possible coin. I think yeah. it's like there's a hundred, maybe two or so. Like, you have, outside. I'm pretty sure you have to get all of the coins in the crazy box. Mm -hmm. The one that uh, spawns, yep. like, right next to the sinking lava platforms. Yep. Well, that was, that was... Also, for some reason, falling off of this doesn't make you lose it. I was surprised, too. Some nice hitbox abuse there. Yep. Yeah, that was some, that was some real pro movement. <laughs> We will abuse everything here. Like, you, sh you should submit that to pro speedruns. <laughs> Compliment the speedrunning community very well. Oh no. Yep, we couldn't We couldn't get all of it, I'm sorry. Well, the, the fire must remind us that we are but mortals in the end. I'm sorry, but Vikas is, uh... He's ruined the party. Pack it yep. all up, we're, uh, we're done. <laughs> I've, I've ruined all the good music, too. That's it. I'm taking my Cheetos and my copy of, uh... Show off the teleport. Show off the... Yes. Katan, and yep. we're going home. <laughs> no, not Settlers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Bye-bye, hat. Uh, or you can just get another one, shit, yeah. Good thing it comes back, because I wasn't going to go chase that. The one unfortunate thing about the hat is it's a lot slower. It kind of feels like you're meandering about the level, so... Well, see, my only problem with the hat was that whenever you got it and you tried to elevate yourself in any sort of way, the it would, Mario would just come out of the computer screen and just slap the controller out of your hands. Yep, the hat, the hat just says no. No thank you. What did you think? This hat was actually for flying? 
So, uh, how about we try making Mario fly higher in the air? Excuse me? <laughs> no, no, no. That would, that would break the game completely. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure you can get all the coins since I'm at 89 before I get into the volcano. Well, yeah, I mean... I mean, I guess I will, I will take your three-year-old self's word for it. <laughs> actually, I was, uh, 11 when I did it. Oh, okay. That actually, that makes you credible. Yeah, I... I did a lot of pro shit whenever I was 11. <laughs> oh god. 11 was basically the high point. Whether it was just, uh, doing rush bike sections with... in Mega Man 8, uh, without having to use the Thunder Claw in, in Search Man stage, or anything like that, yeah, yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Which which, which Mega Man had uh, that bubble guy? No, the, the Joker guy. Uh, Clown Man. Man. Yeah, that was that was Mega Man Eight. What a what a wonderful game that was. <laughs> I like how the bully just keeps on moving, is, uh, running into me. Yeah, this is this is unrelated. We should not speak of such things. <laughs> no talking about other games in this Mario game. Mario doesn't like Mega Man very much. And really, it's it's also worth noting, or at least that it'd probably be pretty hard to play any other game with your feet, though... Yeah, pretty much anything that uses the L or R buttons very difficult. And I was like, you know, trying to think of, the, of you know, like a one-up LP, you know, like to, to, to one-up what you've done here, and I was thinking, <laughs> what would I do, you know, let's play Crash Bandicoot with my junk? Uh, I just, I, I don't know. I don't know what I, I could you do have a camera for that. to beat you. Well, that's it. It'd have to be a very... Uh, Possibly a paper LP uh, where people oh, confirm yes. their age by paying for the viewing right, of course. I'd play Crash Bandicoot with my junk, if you know what I mean. I do not know what you mean, good sir. <laughs> not really sure, actually. Hmm. So I like how uh, the volcano is just basically an exercise in camera frustration. Yeah, pretty much, especially on those little, like, uh, Well, because it's all, it's all poles. Yep. It's all poles, it's all eight-directional oh. shit with jank especially, movement. Especially because, like, Mario, when he's on a pole, doesn't exactly point the direction he jumps. It's, it's really weird. Sounds like the last party I hosted. Yeah, it's actually exactly like that. It was, it was in Poland, though, so, you know. Hmm. I don't actually have a good response to that. I'm sorry, I failed you. It was a really bad pun anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. If, if I open my mouth and I'm not bullshitting, it's like, not as interesting. So you're following these ah. brown blob things? Yep. Oh, that's pretty cool. They kind of ran out of ideas for this last star, so they were like, yeah, well, let's, let's put another one into the volcano and make them stand there a lot. Oh, but hold on, if we make them switch elevators here, that's where all the challenge is. That was, that was challenging just to watch. I could feel it in my bones that it was coming. You saw the platform sinking, and much like the platform, you had a sinking feeling that I wasn't going to be able to do this. Absolutely. Much like my hopes and dreams, the Titanic was struck by the iceberg of the platform. And then poles. Yeah, poles. More poles. Pole grabbing. There we go. Well done. I've gotten a lot better since I was able to do that and the other star in one try this time, as opposed to the test video where I had to cut everything out. Oh, we've definitely seen an improvement. You've gone from schmo to pro, using nothing but your feet. Feet schmo. Yes. And my razor wit. Razor sharp wits. Yes. I think it's about anyway, over. That was yes. That was uh, seven more stars. Thank you guys for sitting in on it. It's been a pleasure. No problem. Wonderful to have you. Mm -hmm. And I wish you all a good evening. <laughs> Thank you, and good night. Unless it's, it's not over yet, is it? You've still got a couple seconds of standing around on this video. Well, Mario has to fall asleep first, because we got to make every video the same beginning and ending. It's, it's very artistic, really. The continuance. Beautiful. <laughs> Mario has to fall asleep and then wake back up and be reborn, and that's where the video ends.